Hi right, everybody. Tonight I'm gonna make a great meatloaf. Chipotle flavor. Goya chipotle flavor. Chipotle. Chipotle. Pepper meatloaf. Spicy. Watch. Watch me squish it up. It's gonna be good. I'm starving. Come on over. I have eight cloves of garlic chopped up here. I'm using freezer paper so it's not so messy all over the place. Like we don't really care. Two pounds of ground beef or hamburger or whatever you like. Two. I weighed it on my scale. Okay, you're gonna put a one egg in there. Okay, keep it together there. I like to put some breadcrumbs in to soak up the moisture somewhat. Get a little uh, texture as well. Put a little bit of that garlic without cutting myself again. Make sure you get it with your hands. It's freezer paper or Whatever kind of paper you can find like this, butcher paper or parchment paper, it's convenient. Now I've been using these uh, Chipotle peppers lately. Remember we went to a Chipotle restaurant, we started liking that flavor, and it's great making them at home. And they're hard to find, usually in ethnic, ethnic stores or departments like that, but I have a link there, you can buy them, I think they're, I don't know if they're three or four dollars. You can buy them, have them sent to your house. Such a great flavor and aroma, I just can't stand it. So I had to buy a bunch of them. I'm glad my store around here has them. But you can buy them too, some more garlic in. We like garlic. You can put onions in here, peppers, whatever you like. And it's meatloaf. I'm gonna cook for 12 minutes, you'll see. Now, here's the question. These are kind of spicy. There's probably three or four chili peppers in there, you'll see. Should I put some right in here? Or put it on the top at the end. <laughs> Let's open and look at it, look. Mm. Mmm. See, watch. It's a thick sauce, see? Well, except for that part. There's the peppers. See the pepper? I think I'm gonna cut them up. How many is in there? One, two. Usually like three or four. There's five. Alright. Ooh, they're gonna be spicy. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them up a little bit. Don't worry if this looks messy. That's why we get our finger painting paper down here, huh? Cut them up. This is a great flavor. I can't say it enough. That's not killer spicy, but it's spicy. And you know what's in there. Oh, yeah. I like to save a little bit of the sauce for the top. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. See, one, one little can is all I need here. Don't worry, it's gonna get neater looking. Sorry you had to see this, but you had to. Put that aside. Get all this in there. Meatloaf, chipotle style. Rick McMahon style. USC, USC. Getting out of control. Play with it long enough. That's a little more presentable. If you like to, just put this in your oven like a like one of them old fashioned people. But we got the pressure cooker. I'm gonna use this pie or cake tin. I'm gonna rinse off my hands first. Hang on. Hang on. Hands washed. Like I said, this is a pie or cake tin tin pan. Pin tin. Tin man. Flim flam. Make sure it fits here, pressure cooker. And I like to poke holes in the bottom of these. And I happen to have a old meat thermometer from my outdoor cooking. Poke a couple holes in the bottom of there. Just to let some of the juice go out. Don't poke your fingers. Pocahontas. Don't ruin the damn pan. See? Like you're gonna keep your pet in there, you know? Take your nice piece of meat. Mm. You can put more breadcrumbs if you want. Or no breadcrumbs or oatmeal like some people do, remember? Back here. Put it in the pan. Watch. In the pan. All done. Try not to have no cracks in it, but that's okay. Look at two pounds. 
it might shrink and crack somewhat but I'm still gonna like it can't stop playing with it meat bongo fiesta all right i have a little bit left of this delicious sauce remember this was only one one can one can man Ooh. Smell that. <sighs> now, if you like cheese melted on it, don't put it on now. We'll put it on at the end. I'll show you. Wow. See what it looks like now? Are you looking at it? I'm over here, pressure cooker. I'm over here. Okay, this instant pot has an amazing rack that I could put my pan right on. Lower it down there. Remember, in the past, I made a sling out of foil, which you could fold a long rectangle and wrap it around the pan like that. But Instant Pot gave me this, and I'm glad for it. See, I'm gonna put that on top. I'm gonna put one and a half cups of water, water inside. One, one, a half. That's probably one and three quarters. Who's counting? You counting? There's no count. Oh, I forgot my liquid smoke. See, that's just a little extra flavor that I like. Just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. That's gonna give it some kick. Liquid smoke. Mm. You could probably find that down there where you found this. Down there linked on the bottom. Chipotle peppers. Chipotle in adobo sauce. Chilies, chiamongos. Going in, look how handy this is. See? That's it. Okay? Now you could put some vegetables in there. You could put another layer, or I'd put them on the bottom like I did in the past. I made a bacon salsa meatloaf. I'll put a link at the end of this to that. And I believe I had potatoes in the bottom of that one. But this shows you how you can make any kind of meatloaf. Turkey, chicken, ground up, whatever you like. Any flavors. But I like Chipotle this week. This month. Put a nice tinkling sounding lid on. Put it in pressure sealing mode in the back here. This is easy to tell because when it's release it lifts up see that's down instant pot oh yeah you can get one of them down below too at the link this is an eight quart and they're cheaper than when i got them <sighs> they're like twenty dollars cheaper than i paid and six quarts even cheaper yet check it out all right oops i'm gonna set this manual manual high i'm going 12 minutes so i'm going to go down when i'm in the temperature 12. That's all it takes. Well, you gotta wait for the pressure to build up. Dog smells it already. 12. And it should start by itself. High pressure, 12. Start. Okay. Oh, I'm so hungry. I get pains when I'm hungry like that. <laughs> Do you? Oh. All right. Let me clean up a little bit and get my paper plate ready. Stop playing with that. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, the time's up. Let's release the pressure. Come on. Get your splattering towel out. This is going to be good. You wait and see. We'll be back when that pressure is free. Listen to me. Pressure's out. Release the hounds. I hear them outside. Hear them? Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Ooh, but you don't know what's next. Look. That's a nice piece of meat. A little steam me. But guess what? What's better than bacon? Bacon, 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 bacon. This is a surprise, see? This is bacon. You like bacon like I like bacon? 
We like bacon. What else do we like? Uh, and cheese. You like cheese? I like cheese. Any kind of cheese you like. Before the heat escapes too much. I'm gonna put the lid back on for a couple minutes. Oh yeah. Hey. That's mozzarella. That's Parmesan. I'm sorry. Picked the wrong bag. That's alright. Put the lid back on for a couple minutes. Thought I had mozzarella. I'm going to open the lid after six or seven minutes of cheesiness. Oh look. Alright, see this handy sling, remember? But use pot holders because it's probably gonna be hot. Great, let's remove this. Listen to a handy, handy pan getter adder. And some juice fell through. So it's not too uh, juicy to meat. Remember, I poked holes in there. Mm, let's let that settle down for a minute or two until I fix up my supper plate. Bachelor number one. Look, I ended up with a meal. Microwave mashed taters, four minutes. Can of peas. Canopy. And our star of the show, chipotle bacon cheese meatloaf. If I had big enough bun, I'd make this into just a hamburger. But since I probably gotta share it, I'm going to have a meal. See how I left the bacon in slices? I'm gonna use that for my dividing point. Oh, see the bacon? Oh, mm. I love that chipotle smell. I've been saying that. Where's my spatula at? Look at this baby. Can you see the peppers in there? Can you? Do ya, do ya. Lay it down, lay it down. It looks just like a meal. Taters. Instant taters. That's okay. I come from the projects. We love them. Butter. Butter on my taters. Plop. Over that too. Mm-hmm. Green peas. Oh, sweet pea. Won't you dance with me? Pea. A pea for you. Alright. Look alright? Oh, let's test that meatloaf. It's just perfect. I didn't even taste it, but you know me and my food. Mmm. 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 Mmm-hmm. Woo! Mmm. 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 Now the spice. After I chewed the whole bite and swallowed it, now I feel the spice. It's not a ridiculous spice. It's a good spice. Pizza good. Microwave mashed potatoes, let me see. Just like mama used to press the button on. <laughs> Let's get a piece of that bacon on top too. Woo wee! Bacon, chipotle. There's a hunk of pepper. I'm gonna that in there too. You don't care if I use my fingers. Chipotle, bacon, cheese, hamburger. Mmm. 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 All right. This is pot. That's the newest model, the third generation. Eight quart. Buy one down below, they're on sale. Cheaper than I got it for. Then the six quart, 
It's exactly the same. It's just that much smaller. No problem. I was using a six quart Cuisinart for years and no problem. Check it out. Anyway, click the link. Who cares? All right, let me finish enjoying this. I'm sure my dog wants some. <coughs> Talk to you soon. And thanks for stopping by. Wait a minute. That'd be neat. See ya. Yum, yum, eat them up. <laughs>